All right, Alex, nice to meet you. I hear there's a guy who says he's interested in you, but his text messages just don't add up. Yes, I met him when I was standing in Dallas about five, six years ago. We were texting, FaceTiming on a regular basis. He would make plans all the time, never come through. And after a while, I just got tired of it. And I cut him off. So now I've moved to LA. I went back to Dallas for my birthday and he saw I was coming back in town. So of course he started back texting me, trying to make plans. I invited him to my birthday party and he never showed up. Okay, did he give you a reason? why he didn't show up for the birthday party? Well, I heard from him two days later, he didn't have a valid excuse and he tried to make plans again and he still didn't come through. All right, let's take a look at these texts and see what he said. Okay. At 8.36 a.m., he texts you, good morning. And you replied with three straight-faced emojis. <laughs> and he said, I know, I know, shake my head with a sad face emoji. Then you text, you're full of it. Then he said, let's catch a movie tonight. I need to make it up to you. And he put a praying emoji. Oh, he gonna bring the Lord into this. <laughs> and you replied, shake my head. There's nothing at the movies to watch. So he replied, then, you, then have a drink with me. It'll be worth it. And then you asked, what time with a straight face emoji? It's like, what time? Okay. He said, eight. Then you replied, I'll believe it when I see it. Then he said, I'm going to show you something. Talk is cheap, remember? Then you replied, you're surely right because definitely all you'll be doing with a rolling eye emoji. Hell, I can't help you because I don't know what these damn symbols <laughs> Okay, did you end up going out with him late at night, that night for drinks? No. After we texted earlier, I didn't hear from him at all. And so I texted him around like 7.30. Okay, 7.37, you text exactly full of <laughs> He replied, I just got to my crib, pull up. And then your response, two straight-faced emojis. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming you didn't go over to his house. Of course not, because you can't keep making plans and then ask me to come over. Like, no. So then I end up FaceTiming him, and he didn't answer, and he sent a text message. All right, let's take a look at the last text exchange. He said, hey, what's up? Then you asked, why didn't you answer the FaceTime? He said, I was in the other room, what you doing? <laughs> so then you asked him, why didn't you call back on FaceTime with a question face emoji? Then he went silent. <laughs> First of all, why you texting him <laughs> is like, you, how many years has this been going on? Well, we had stopped talking. We just recently started back texting. That's when I went back right. to Dallas. But y'all stopped talking. Y'all never really dated. Yeah. No, y'all never no, no, really we dated. never dated. No. Right. So it's always just been this text yeah. affair. You told him talk is cheap. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you something. Texting is even cheaper. <laughs> See, texting is cheaper. What I want you to help you do is. You got to get off this hamster wheel with these guys with this texting. Grown men talk. Grown men want to talk. Now, you're young, but you want to be in a grown folk relationship. Your relationship with these guys should be of value. Treat it as a business to get out of the texting world with these guys. You understand what I'm saying? This guy has never, ever done anything he said he was gonna do. Let me give you ladies one big clue. It's the same message that's on every boy's t-shirt that has been coming to my camp for 10 years. The number one rule of manhood, do what you say you gonna do. That's all. You can judge a man simply by that one thing right there. Does he do what he say he gonna do. Ladies, stop.
Stop giving men chances who don't do what they say they're going to do. You're dating a boy, and you're, you're going to lose. All right, this all makes sense to you? Yes, it does. That's the first thing. You dating a man who does what from now on? That is a man of his word. All right, Alex, thank you very much. Good luck to you. Thank you. Joining us now is a woman who says she's having a hard time reading a guy that she's been dating for six years. Everybody, please welcome Catherine. Hey, everybody! All right, Catherine, nice to meet you. T tell us about your relationship with this guy. We met freshman year of college, and we instantly hit it off. And neither of us were really ready for an actual relationship. And I hate to say it, but we were like friends with benefits. And we get to senior year, and um, graduation rolls around. And we graduate, we kind of just stop talking. And I've been living in uh, Colorado now for a year and a half. And I get a text message randomly and it says, hey, guess who lives in the neck of the woods now? And it was him. Anyway, we kind of go back to the same thing that we were in college. One second he's like, oh, we need to be in a relationship. I really like you, you know, this is great. You need to meet my parents. And then literally an hour later, he'll be like, actually, you know what? This is getting a little too serious right now. So I think that we should, you know, maybe we just shouldn't talk anymore. I'm like, oh, okay. So I said, you know what? I've had it, I'm done. We're just gonna be friends strictly from here on out. And that was the first time I had ever like laid it out like that saying like, we're just gonna be friends, that's it. And then a couple of days later, I get the most confusing text message from him ever. And all right, I, I'm just well, flabbergasted. Text message. He sent you a picture from the movie The Notebook that says, Behind every great love is a great story. And he wrote, Legit me right now. Yep. You replied, What is up with you? Ha ha. Let's just hang late Friday. He said, Okay, I would love that. You think that pic was funny because I was losing it. Ha ha ha. And you responded, Mm. <laughs> you probably laughed harder than I did. I just did a heh type of noise. Then he replied, ha, 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 understand me, please. So you said, you don't even understand you. If I had a dollar for all your mood swings, I could buy a new car, which I need, so pay up. How did the movie reference make you feel? So at first, I was just kind of taken off guard and was like, uh, okay. But then, of course, I hate to say it, but I kind of got butterflies. Because I just, like, always wanted this from him, this kind of, you know, something that seemed like he really wanted me. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, ultimately... Okay, let me take a guess what happened here. He told you, oh, my God, I love you. You need to meet my parents. This was before y'all committed the Benefit Act. Then, right after the Benefit Act was over, hey, we going too damn fast right here. It's amazing how I know that, ain't it? Mm-hmm. That's true. I know dudes, man. You gotta quit falling for this. I know. Okay, let's start now. He said, I'm just all over the place and miss my cat. Not cat like that. Cat like my name, my name's Catherine. <laughs> All right, then you replied, I'm not just always gonna be here. And then he replied, I know, and that's why I wanna see you. I value your time, Kat. I'm just feeling nostalgic, I guess. And then you said, you don't value my time, and I think you're immature and selfish. I'm not angry, nor do I even care anymore. I just think friends should be honest. I miss you too, often, but I'm not sure why. Well, what happened after that text exchange? He just keeps me like, back and forth and back and forth. And it's like, I just can't read him. And it's just been going on for okay. so long. Okay, listen to me. Stop trying to read men. Do yourself a favor. You can definitely read yourself. So now let's do a little self-reading here. Why would you continually allow a person to treat you any kind of way? in hopes that they'll one day treat you the right way. Let me give you a little education. 
Let me give you a little education about us men. We don't treat you wrong and then all of a sudden start treating you right. We'll never do that. We have come to a conclusion about you a long time ago that you're not the one, and so we're not finna change for you because you're not the one, because all men can change, all men will change, but there's only one woman that will change for. Now, we've determined that you're not that woman. So now, you get whatever we want to give. Stop allowing people to treat you any kind of way in hopes that one day they'll treat you the right way. That ain't how this works. He told you in the beginning, he said, let's stop because one of us is going to get hurt. Mm -hmm. He told you that in the beginning, didn't he? Yeah, you're right. He already knew it wasn't going to be him. But if a man tells you, let's stop this before one of us gets hurt and you continue, then you have given him permission to hurt you. Yeah. You just said it's cool. Do you understand? Totally. Now, you have value. Treat yourself sure with value. Mm -hmm. Stop this. Break it off. You ain't got nothing else to do with him. He's a loser. He don't know what he has. And just somebody will treat you right. Hey. Maybe. Never know. You never know. High five. High five. You better do it, girl. Thank you, Captain, and good luck. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.